it's Once Upon a Witch here, and today I wanted to show you how to make spell paper. Um, so I will be using this premium great white cardstock paper. You can use any kind of paper, but for spells I recommend using cardstock. Um, you'll need some instant coffee and essential oil blend of your choice. You could just use one. Um, this time I'll be using lavender vanilla. And you'll probably want something you can boil the water in with a, um, a lip so that you can pour it into the bottle more easily. And then you'll need the spray bottle. Um, the last thing you'll need is the blow dryer. This isn't really necessary if you want to air dry it, but I just am impatient. So I'll be using the blow dryer. So the first thing you'll want to do is just take your instant coffee and put a little bit in the bottom of glass. And you can make this as strong as you want to. Um, for this, it's probably going to be, it's just up to the black line on here. Um, and then I will be adding about the same amount of water, maybe just a little bit more water. There, now you can see it's already got the dark coloration uh, from the coffee. Um, you don't want to add your oils yet. You'll be adding them once you boil it. So you can, with the instant coffee, it's not really necessary to boil it. Um, I just like to do it for about a minute. So that way it just makes sure to get all of the little granules incorporated into the water. So after about a minute, then I'll take it out and then we'll put in the essential oil blend. Um, now for this and for most of my workings, I always have my working candle up and you guys have probably seen my candle in like every single video. Um, anytime that I do energy workings or spell workings or anytime I'm doing some sort of a craft, for what I'll be incorporating into my craft. Then I always have my working candle going. Um, and the working candle does a few different things. Um, it raises the vibrational level of the area. Um, it just sets the tone and it gets you in the right mindset for doing any kind of ritual work or preparing for spells or other such things, even just making the spell paper. So I always have it lit. Um, I love my working candle, but but I love any kind of lantern, and I just love candles. So so now that I have this boiled for about a minute, I mean it's probably not all the way boiled, but you'll just want to pour it into the spray bottle. And if you want, you can give it a few minutes to cool off. But since it was only in there for a minute, it's not that hot. Okay, so it almost got it all the way in there. There we go. And then you can add as much or as little as you want. You don't even need to add this, the essential oil blends. Um, I typically do use just cedar wood, and I usually just use the higher quality essential oils. But for this one, I'm just going to be using lavender vanilla because um, it just smells really good. And I just got this from the like the essential oil section, I guess, from Walmart. These are not like the kind of essential oils you'd be putting in your food or anything. These are like aromatherapy use only. So I'll probably add about five or six drops in here. Maybe six. Okay. And then you just want to swirl it around a little bit so that it gets throughout the whole bottle.
Now the fun part comes. So you pull open your cardstock. Now you have options. You can cut it up first or you could cut it up later. I recommend doing it later because it just makes it easier. Um, but if you cut it up first, you might have cooler looking edges. So that's an option. So we'll start out with just one. And you bring it over to an area where you can get the counter dirty. So I just use the glass stove top because it's easy to clean. And then well, let me see if I can bring it over here so you guys can see the process a little bit better. Just one moment. Okay, so you'll just start by taking it and just kind of spraying it on lightly at first. And you can leave it like this if you want, just a light spray. Um, or you can do it really heavy. For these, I'll be doing it about medium. Um, and you can even just move it around on the paper if you want. And since this is somewhere that I can get really dirty, I don't mind really getting it dirty. So <laughs> I will be tossing it around here and just getting a lot of texture in here. Now the cardstock does take a little bit longer for the coffee to be incorporated into the paper. So you'll probably need to spray it a few different times and then just kind of let it soak in there for a few minutes. And that's usually why I add more coffee than water because it just makes it easier to stain the paper. See, it's not really incorporating it yet. Um, this works a lot better with just a thin paper, but for spell paper, I like using the cardstock because it just holds up better if you're putting herbs in there. Now I'll just be blow drying this and then I might have to redo the process a few times. So I will just speed this up for you. So now that I have that all blow dried, you can see, um, I don't know how well it's showing. Yeah, you can see the texturization. Um, so some spots have this like streak. There are the little spots from where my fingers were. There are little white speckles throughout it. Um, and then you can just cut it up into the strips from this point. Another way you can do it, but it's a little bit harder um, if you want to mass produce it, you can put them all into a um, like a cooking sheet with sides, a baking dish, I guess, and then put in the blend and just kind of shake the edges around until it incorporates it throughout the papers. The problem, though, is that it doesn't seem to get through it all, to all the papers. So if you do it, you might want to add like rocks in between, so that way it will kind of lift up the different pages. Okay, so this is what the paper looks like when it's all done. Um, and you can also do it in the oven for like 260 for about three to five minutes um, to get it back to the firmness. And it also gives it kind of that texturization, um, a little bit of a warp. 
and I like that, so it's just personal preference. You can even just air dry it if you want it to just be completely flat. Um, you can add more essential oils on the paper if you wish. And for this one though, I love how this is. I'm going to leave it like this. Um, you can see there's a lot of texture, there's a lot of different styles for each paper. So each paper is unique. And then what I'll be doing is just cutting these up into little bundles and then using them for the spell paper. Um, and for spell paper, what you do is similar to the bay leaves. Um, bay leaves are more for wishes, but it's the same style. You just write your intent, what you want on the paper, and then you can either roll it up with herbs inside of it, or you can just leave it as is. And while you're thinking about your intent, you just burn it on top of the flames. And you can use it in your black salt. Um, I've made a video about how to make black salt. You can use those ashes, um, write something for protection, draw like a protective sigil and use those ashes to go into your black salt. Or you could use it for... There's so many different things you can use it for, but that's why I love spell paper, because it's so versatile. Um, we've used them for um, the rituals for, like, the equinoxes. So for spring, we did, like, a banishing of the old and welcoming of the new. So we wrote down what we wanted to get rid of, and we burned them in the campfire. So, yeah, it's very versatile. You can make it for very cheap. Um, very fun to make and you can add your own oils so it just gives you a lot of options that's what I really like the most about it but if you guys want to get some of this from me just send me a message and I'll probably make you guys like an individualized batch and um, send you a package um, with some spell paper but that is all I have for this video I'll probably like I said I'll be doing that ukiyo-e tarot review um, probably later today. I don't have school on Tuesdays, so I make a lot of videos in the morning before I have to go to work. So please forgive me for being crazy and posting so many videos, but I hope you like them anyways. Um, but anyways, once again, this is Casey with Once Upon a Witch. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and blessed be.